Hello and welcome to 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Saab al -Fatih. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Royal Order Number no. 24 for the year 2017 to form a legal committee to review the Family Draft Law. Article 1 stipulates organizing a committee from the Supreme Council of Islamic Affairs and legal judges to be known as the Sharia Committee for Family Draft Law Revision. The committee is composed of the following members: Sheikh Abdul Hussein Khalaf Al Asfour, Sheikh Dr. Abdul Latif Mahmoud Al Mahmoud, Sheikh Adnan Abdullah Al Gattan, Sheikh Nasser. Ahmed Al Asfour, Rashid Hassan Al Buainin, Sheikh Dr. Rashid Muhammad Al Hajri, Sheikh Dr. Suleiman Mansour Al Sitri, Sheikh Jawad Abdullah Abbas Hussain, Sheikh Dr. Abdurrahman Drar Al Shaar, and Sheikh Muhammad Tahir Al Madini. Article 2 stipulates that the committee shall hold its meetings at the headquarters of the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs. Article 3 stipulates that the committee is concerned with examining the family draft law, reviewing its provisions and ensuring compliance with the provisions of Islamic law. Article 4 stipulates that the legislation and legal IFTA authority shall be entrusted with the secretariat of the committee to attend its meetings and record the minutes of meetings. Article 5 stipulates that the committee shall submit its report to the royal court including its findings and recommendations regarding the project referred to it and that the work of the committee ends immediately after the issuance of the family law according to the constitutional procedures. Article 6 stipulates that this order shall be enforced from the date of its issuance and shall be published in the official gazette. His Royal Highness Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa met at the Tabia Palace today a number of businessmen and intellectuals. His Royal Highness commended the reactions of the people through various forms of media in response to being honored by the Arab League. He said it honors the achievements of the people who are dedicated to the prosperity and development of the kingdom under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The Prime Minister said human rights in the kingdom are protected. Highly Highlighting that there are bodies that question this side in Bahrain, Gulf and Arab countries which confirms the necessity for unity to deal with these attempts. He added that the world is governed by interest, saying that Arab interest is to be a unified power both politically and economically. His Royal Highness hailed the responsible sense of awareness of the people of Bahrain which enables them to deal with all challenges, expressing pride in them. Meanwhile, the audience praised the prestigious Arab and international status of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, which has been reflected by the international honouring that confirms that his accomplishments have contributed in the development of Bahrain. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa met at the Qutaybiyah Palace today the U.S. Ambassador to Bahrain, William Roebuck. During the meeting, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister affirmed the Kingdom's keenness to elevate the level of cooperation with the United States in various fields to meet the aspirations of both countries through the utilization of bilateral agreements. His Royal Highness expressed his appreciation towards the U.S. administration under the leadership of President Donald Trump for its support of the Kingdom of Bahrain and the GCC countries. He hailed the efforts exerted by the administration in its war on terrorism, emphasizing that maintaining stability and security in the region calls for collaborative efforts to thwart off the dangers of terrorism. He also asserted the urgent need to support allies in overcoming global security and economic challenges. Both sides also reviewed the latest regional and international developments of common interest, as well as the mutual pursuit of strengthening security and stability. Ambassador Rubok expressed his deep appreciation 
appreciation towards the Kingdom of Bahrain for its support of U.S. efforts in fighting terrorism. He also congratulated His Royal Highness Prime Minister on the graduation of his granddaughter, Sheikh Aisha bint Rashid Al Khalifa, from the Royal Military Academy Saunders as the first Bahraini young woman to graduate from the prestigious academy. Ambassador Roebuck expressed his thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness Prime Minister for his keen interest to develop bilateral ties, stressing his country's keenness to develop cooperation with the Kingdom of Bahrain in various fields to serve the common benefits of the two friendly countries and their citizens. His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister met today with the Director General of the Islamic Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, the ISECO, Dr. Abdelaziz Uthman Al Tawajri at Rafah Palace. During the meeting, His Royal Highness expressed his pride on the selection of the city of Muharraq as the capital of Islamic culture, which reflects its unique cultural heritage within Bahrain's rich history. His Royal Highness highlighted that the Kingdom of Bahrain takes pride in its ancient Arab and Islamic culture, heritage and history. Both sides reviewed the ongoing preparations and coordination between the Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities and the Islamic Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization for the launch of the city of Muharraq as the capital of Islamic culture for 2018. This historic achievement reflects the importance of the city to global Islamic cultural heritage and Bahrain will celebrate Muharraq status as the capital of Islamic culture throughout the course of 2018. His Royal Highness added that Muharraq's selection as the capital of Islamic culture follows soon after the recognition of Bahrain's Pearl Road as a UNESCO World Heritage Site at the end of last year. He welcomed the Kingdom's hosting of this important cultural celebration, which further emphasizes Bahrain's unique rich history and its location as a center of knowledge, culture and coexistence in the region. He also noted the ongoing cooperation efforts between BACA and ISESCO in the cultural and heritage fields and praised the efforts of Dr. Atuajri in further strengthening the work, highlighting the importance of its role in serving Arab Islamic culture and Islamic societies more broadly. Dr. Atuajri expressed his gratitude for the opportunity to meet His Royal Highness and for the support provided by His Royal Highness in its celebration of Muharraq as the capital of Islamic culture for 2018. Dr. Tawajri further noted the ongoing cooperation between ISESCO and the Kingdom of Bahrain and praised Bahrain's achievements in the cultural and heritage fields. The Director General further noted Bahrain's distinctive cultural monuments which serve as a testimony to the country's unique heritage. President of the Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities, Sheikh Hamay bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, also attended ended the meeting. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa today welcomed this year's recipients of the Crown Prince's International Scholarship Program, the CPISP at Rafah Palace. He highlighted the pivotal role Bahrain's youth play in driving sustainable development and in helping secure the country's prosperous future. The Crown Prince also highlighted that the continued success of Bahrain's youth is one of the many achievements of the Kingdom's ongoing development program led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. Speaking on the important role of the CPISP, the Crown Prince stressed that the program, now in its 18th edition, continues to deliver educational opportunities for exceptional Bahraini students. The Crown Prince went on to highlight that this was a proud moment which marks the beginning of a promising future for the CPISP students as they prepare for an academic career in world-class institutions. His Royal Highness expressed his gratitude to all the organizations that continue to support the work and objectives of the program and extended his congratulations to the students for meeting the rigorous standards of the application process for the scholarship program. The Crown Prince extended his thanks and appreciation to the staff of the CPISP who play an important role liaising with renowned international universities and supporting the students in every aspect.
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa today received at Rafa Palace the Executive Vice President of Petronas and CEO of Upstream, Datuk Mohammed Anwar Tayyib. During the meeting, His Royal Highness highlighted Bahrain's commitment to developing the kingdom's energy sector in support of efforts to strengthen industry and economic diversification across the region. The Crown Prince added that in boosting the kingdom's energy sector, Bahrain will be exposed to various markets markets creating new opportunities to strengthen the national economy. His Royal Highness outlined that the Kingdom of Bahrain seeks to expand its economic relations with the friendly Asian countries, particularly the Kingdom of Malaysia, and to achieve new levels of cooperation that reflect the depth of Bahraini-Malaysian relations. His Royal Highness went on to note that Bahrain will continue to explore new opportunities for bilateral cooperation with Malaysia, especially within the energy sector. He underscored Bahrain's eagerness to continue working with international companies which allows the kingdom to draw on extensive experience in the oil and gas sector to help achieve its development goals. For his part, Pretinas Executive Vice President expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness for the opportunity to meet with him, praising the kingdom's ambitions to increase cooperation with Malaysian companies based on the distinguished relations between the two countries. The personal representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Court for Youth and Sports and Chairman of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa praised the positive participation in Canary Islands Triathlon that was held in Spain with the participation of 500 players from around the world. His Highness praised the results made by the team and their efforts in presenting the Kingdom of Bahrain, Gulf and Arab countries through their significant levels of performances and the positive results achieved under the prosperous era of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. He praised the professional level reached by the team in the triathlon sport and added that the high spirit, the training and preparations of the team were able to overcome all challenges that they faced and complete the race. His Highness added that the Canary race is one of the most renowned races and it's an opportunity for the Bahraini team to compete with international players, especially with the high competition throughout the space which uh, helps the team members to improve their capabilities. He affirmed his keenness to continue supporting Bahrainis in international events in order to enhance the kingdom's status on the world sports map.
under the patronage of the first deputy president of the Supreme Council for Youth, honorary president of the Bahrain Martial Arts Federation, BMMAF, founder of Khalid bin Hamad Mixed Martial Arts, KHK MMA, is on Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The fifth edition of the Brave Fighting Championship was launched yesterday in Mumbai, India, at the Dome National Stadium of India, with the participation of 20 fighters from around the world. The event is organized by Brave Combat Federation, which emanated from the Khalid bin Hamad Mixed Martial Arts Organization, KHK MMA. The official waitings for the participation fighters was held at our city mall, with the attendance of a number of people interested in the sport of mixed martial arts from India, members of the Championship Organizing Committee, and members of the Technical and Administrative Members. This was in addition to representatives of the Indian and international media and a large audience of MMA enthusiasts. His Highness praised the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Screen Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the personal representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, President of the Screen Council for Youth and Sports and Chairman of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and their contributions in enhancing the sports sector in the kingdom. His Highness Sheikh Khalid praised the great enthusiasm and competitions between the fighters in their confrontations after the weight checks, which reflected on their strong preparations, which will be seen in the performances they delivered during the matches. His Highness said that he is pleased with the readiness of the fighters during the confrontations. The weight test was distinguished by excitement and sparks between the fighters, and this will add power to the matches and will reflect by achieving excellence in this championship. He added that he looks forward to continue the success of this event and to continue spreading it around all continents, which achieves the goals set by His Highness to showcase the Bahraini experiences, which in turn contributes to strengthen the position of the Kingdom of Bahrain in the MMA sports. Pointed out, His Highness pointed out that India has the potential to achieve more successes for this championship, adding that it has been able to show itself as a developed country in this sport with the capabilities to participate and compete in various championships. His Highness said that he is looking forward to open new horizons of cooperation between Brave Combat Federation, which emanated from the Khalid bin Hamad Mixed Martial Arts Organization, the KHK MMA, and the Indian Mixed Martial Arts Federation to achieve a partnership in supporting mixed martial arts at the continental level. El Shura Council held its weekly meeting today, chaired by Council Speaker Ali Saleh Al Saleh. The Council approved of the Committee on Financial and Economic Affairs report concerning a draft law amending certain provisions of Decree Law Number 28 for the year 2002 regarding electronic transactions aimed at developing the safe use of electronic transactions and providing an, an appropriate legislative environment for promoting and protecting electronic commerce, as well as addressing all issues regulated by the current electronic transactions law. The Council also approved a law to ratify the agreement between the Government of the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Government of the Kingdom of Morocco to avoid double taxation and avoidance of tax evasion for income taxes attached to Decree No. 80 of 2016. The Shura Council approved draft law to replace Article 222 of Decree Law No. 54 for the year 2002 regarding the internal regulations of the Representatives Council. The second session of the meeting was chaired by Second Deputy Speaker of the Shura Council, Jamila Ali Salman, where the Council approved the draft law in concerning the Finance and Economic Affairs Committee report regarding the amendment of certain provisions of Decree Law No. 28 for the year 2002 regarding electronic transactions. The Minister of Interior, Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, attended the closing ceremony of the Interior Ministry's second Olympic shooting championship and the final shooting match. The ceremony was attended by the President of Bahrain Shooting Association, the BSA, Sheikh Salman bin Khalid Al Khalifa, Public Security Chief Major General Tariq bin Hassan Al Hassan, and Interior Ministry Under Secretary Sheikh Nasser bin Abdurrahman Al Khalifa. The championship was organized by the Public Security Sports 
Association in cooperation with BSA and included shotgun and rifle shooting as well as archery. A number of teams from the Ministry of Interior, Bahrain Defense Force and the National Guard took part in the competition with a total of 80 participants. The Interior Minister expressed appreciation for the outstanding level and sportsmanship of the players which reflects the advanced level of Bahrainis in shooting. He noted the efforts to promote shooting, expressing thanks to BSA President for contributing to the success of the championship and coordinating with the Public Security Sports Association, which plays a major role in winning local and international competitions. The President of the Public Security Sports Association, Lieutenant Colonel Khaled Abdelaziz Al Khayyat, delivered a speech in which he highlighted the efforts of the Interior Ministry according to the directives of the Minister to develop shooting sports in Bahrain. He asserted the association's keenness on strengthening relations between athletes from different bodies, such as the BDF, the Interior Ministry and the National Guard, through organizing periodic tournaments that contribute to bolstering constructive cooperation. The Interior Minister and the BSA President then honored the winning of the winners of the tournaments. The Ministry of Education organized a number of activities celebrating World Book Day. The Education Minister and the President of Bahrain National Committee for Education, Science and Culture, Dr. Majid Naimi, launched Read Campaign in Al Khansa Elementary Girls School, organized by the General and Technical Education Sector at the Ministry, in collaboration with the ASA Cultural Center and the Ministry of Youth and Sports Affairs. The Minister affirmed while touring the exhibit that the Ministry provides over half a million books to public schools libraries to encourage students to read and to spread the values of dialogue coexistence and cultural openness and Naimi reviewed a number of activities and school projects that encourage students to read including students with special needs among the projects is the mobile library a bus designated designed as a library that visits different public and private schools the smart reader project encourages students to talk about books they read in the morning assembly and reading for all encourages encourages students to discuss books with other students and teachers, as well as a number of digital reading activities using smart tablets. The minister honored the distinguished poet Ali Shargawi in honor of Bahraini writers and intellectuals. A student recited one of Shargawi's poems on this occasion. Dr. Naim inaugurated another celebration organized by the General Libraries Management. He viewed the number of services provided to students and the general public, as well as activities for people with special needs. The minister commended the efforts of the events organizers and the activists and the activities hosted by the ministry in celebration of World Book Day. The new Italian Navy frigate ITS Karen Bieri has docked at Bahrain's Mina Salman port as part of a campaign to further enhance long-standing bilateral ties in military cooperation, diplomacy and commerce. Danielle Deporto has more in this report. The Italian Navy frigate ITS Carabinieri will spend a few days at Bahrain's Mina Salman port as part of its six-month Southeast Asian and Australian naval campaign, which includes stops in Oman, Kuwait and Saudi Arabia. The mission is multifaceted, with goals including presence and surveillance activities, enhancing international naval cooperation, diplomatic efforts and the promotion of Italian technologies and industries. We are doing a very big campaign here. And we started the 20th of December of last year and we will back to Italy in the first days of, uh, of June. This is a big campaign that will uh, bring us to the Southeast Asia, Australia and the Gulf countries. Many times we cooperated with the navies of, of the Gulf and we are very happy to, to be here. Uh, at the beginning this uh, naval campaign was to finish before entering into the Gulf but they decided to enlarge the, the campaign in order to come to the Gulf countries because uh, it's very common for the Italian ships to come here. 
The 144 by 19.7 metre, 6,900 tonne vessel, which was delivered to the Italian Navy in April 2015, has been fitted with the latest generation surveillance, stealth and weapon systems, with a range of capabilities including maritime surveillance, anti-piracy and human trafficking efforts, humanitarian interventions in natural disaster situations and counter-terrorism operations. This is a multi-mission frigate that comes from a wild, wider shipbuilding program that was called FREM. FREM stands for European Multi-Mission Frigate. It was a program that was launched by Italy and France in order to renew our ships, our fleets. So by 2021, Italy will have 10 new ships of this, uh, of this class. A Carabiniere is one of the fourth ship of this program that are AESW, that means anti-submarine warfare ships. So the ship is a multi-mission uh, ship with special capabilities for the anti-submarine warfare. Those kind of uh, modern ships, I can say, are um, very good uh, to be at sea for a long period because the standard, the comfort is much higher than the ships in the past. The campaign reflects a much broader strategic vision known as Blue Growth, which leverages the sea as a key driver of sustainable development in the fields of science and technology, industry and employment, via public-private partnerships and international agreements. The, one of the good aspects of this campaign is that uh, Italy is not coming here as a, only a navy, but we are coming here as a, as a country. So uh, this, this kind of campaign is not organized only by the navy, but we have also the cooperation of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Uh, for example, this morning we received on board our ambassador, and so we try to organize many activities together with our diplomatic representatives, and we have also the companies. Further high-level meetings will take place as the Italian ambassador and Italian chief of fleet welcome guests aboard tomorrow. Reporting from the Italian naval frigate Cabinieri at Mina Salman port for Bahrain International, I'm Danielle Deporto.